Meet the new M230 LF America's 30mm chain gun. Are you familiar with M230 LF? If not, then no worries, we will tell you some great facts you don't know. As far as national defense spending is concerned, the United States leads the pack. According to the draft bill, the NDA provides $831.781 billion in total funding. The six subcomponents of the Department of Defense will each receive a portion of the funds from Congress. Agencies incur obligations if financial commitment that the federal government guarantees to fulfill in order to use the budgetary resources that are available to them. Concerns have been expressed throughout the most recent course regarding the junior enlisted members' difficulties in providing for their basic needs, such as clothing and food. For this reason, junior enlistees and other defense service personnel who struggle to meet their basic needs would benefit from the salary increase. The M230 LF America's 30mm chain gun, which is well known for its sophisticated capabilities and adaptability, has become an essential component of the arsenals of modern militaries. In the course of this exhaustive investigation, we will delve deeper into its design subtleties, technological specifications, versatile applications, and the continual developments that ensure its relevance on the contemporary battlefield. Before we go deep into it, subscribe to our channel and give a thumbs up to this video. Here we go. The M230 Link Fed has already been implemented into a number of different turret systems, and it is currently being evaluated in a number of different nations. The broad lethality of the M789 High Explosive Dual Purpose HEDP round of ammunition is the key to the effectiveness of this system. This round, which is believed to be real multifunctional and delivers exceptional anti-material, anti-personnel, and anti-light armor capability, all from a single round, is the most important factor in the system's effectiveness. Additionally, it is capable of firing the American M799 HEI and M788 TP rounds in addition to all ADN and DFA types of ammunition. An AV Technologies two-person turret that was mounted on an M113 series armored personnel carrier has already had the M230 LF fitted into it, so that it may be tested with that configuration. As of the middle of 1999, it was apparent that the 30mm M230 LF weapon would not be used in any industrial applications. The design of the M230 LF is a triumph of modern engineering. It strikes a balance between robustness and lightweight, forward-thinking methodology. The LF designation was derived from the M230 chain gun, and it highlights the gun's lightweight properties. These attributes make it an excellent candidate for integration into a variety of platforms, such as helicopters and ground vehicles. Its modular architecture is one of its most notable features since it enables it to adapt easily to a wide variety of operational requirements. The M230 LF is designed to withstand the stresses of warfare and is built with materials that are resistant to wear and tear. This ensures that the weapon will have a long service life and remain reliable in harsh circumstances. This meticulous design extends to the ergonomics of the product, which enhances the comfort of the user and facilitates effective operation. When compared to weapons of smaller calibers, the M230 LX firepower is significantly increased due to its utilization of a 30mm caliber. A considerable tactical advantage on the battlefield is provided by this larger caliber's ability to engage armored vehicles and defended locations. The M230 LF boasts an outstanding rate of fire, which serves as a major performance metric for the weapon. The cannon is capable of delivering a high volume of rounds per minute, which is essential for suppressing enemy positions, creating strategic advantages, and fast responding to scenarios that are dynamic and constantly shifting on the battlefield. A magazine with a sizable capacity for holding ammunition is often included with the M230 LF when it is purchased. This design ensures that sustained fire will be provided during longer engagements, which is an essential capacity for effectively providing support during prolonged conflicts and contributing to the success of the mission. The M230 LF's ability to be easily integrated into a wide variety of platforms across the many branches of the armed forces is made possible by its modular architecture. Because of its versatility, it may be utilized on a wide variety of attack helicopters, armored vehicles, and naval vessels, making it a versatile and important tool in a variety of operational scenarios. The M230 LF is typically mounted as the primary armament on attack helicopters, where its potency combined with its high rate of fire has proven to be an invaluable asset. Because it is so successful at targeting both ground and air targets, it is an essential component in aerial warfare scenarios, helping to ensure that armed forces maintain air superiority. The firepower of the M230 LF, together with its adaptability, is beneficial to infantry combat vehicles and armored personnel carriers. 
When attached to various ground platforms, the chain gun improves their offensive capabilities. This results in more efficient support during ground operations, which in turn contributes to the success of maneuver warfare. The M230LF becomes a true multi-role system when additional types of ammunition are added to its arsenal. However, switching from one type of ammunition to another during operation takes some time, and since targets of varying types can suddenly appear with very little warning time, this can be a problem. An alternative solution is to feed it with mixed rounds belts, however, proximity rounds may be wasted against targets that do not require such a type of ammo. In order to address this problem, Northrop Grumman is working on a dual feed system, of which a prototype should be ready by the end of the first quarter of this year. The gunner will then have a choice that gives him the ability to switch between two different types of ammunition in what seems like an instant. Additionally, Northrop Grumman is working on the development of several kinds of warheads, with the goal of optimizing the fragment's dimensions and weight in order to deal with various kinds of targets, while simultaneously boosting their lethality to the greatest extent possible. Sky Viper is the codename for the 20mm variant that Northrop Grumman is working on in addition to the 30mm M230LF. According to the corporation, the program was put on hold because of problems obtaining finance. However, those problems have been resolved, and it will be relaunched in the beginning of 2023. A prototype is expected within the next 18 months. This gun is one of the options being investigated for the future attack reconnaissance helicopter that will be used by the United States Army. It is unlikely that proxy-fused or smart ammunition will be created for this weapon, which would rely on a fast fire rate for neutralizing conventional targets. Northrop Grumman considers the CUAS mission to be best suited for smart 30mm rounds. This is due to the fact that the expense of developing such ammunition would be more than the benefits it would provide. The M230LF is put to use in naval defense, where it makes a contribution to the safety of shipborne transportation. It is important to the safety and integrity of naval operations, since its duty involves protecting naval vessels from air and surface threats. Its role includes protecting naval vessels from air and surface threats. Continuous efforts are being made in order to better improve the capabilities of the M230 LF America's 30mm chain gun as technology continues to evolve. Potential avenues for improvement include the development of new materials, increasing automation for the purpose of streamlining operations and technological breakthroughs in ammunition with the goals of improving overall performance and adapting to the ever-changing dangers of the modern battlefield. Six priorities make up the core of Army Futures Command's modernization efforts for the Army. Every priority has a cross-functional team leading it. The Land Service's major modernization goal is long-range precision fires, which focuses on reconstructing the field artillery branch to counter longer-range artillery systems from China and Russia. The goal of the Extended Range Cannon Artillery Program is to create a cannon piece that will be able to fire accurately at targets up to 70 kilometers distant, as opposed to the current cannon pieces at 30 kilometers. Precision Strike is a guided surface-to-surface -surface missile designed to replace the existing missiles from the M270 multiple launch rocket system and M142 HIMARS, resulting in a twofold increase in firing rate. As part of the transportable ground-launched long-range hypersonic weapon program, the Army is also developing a common hypersonic glide body in collaboration with the Missile Defense Agency, the U.S. Navy, and the U.S. Air Force. Lastly, in order to give the Army access to mid-range artillery, the Army is modifying the U.S. Navy's RIM-174 Standard ERAM and UGM-109 Tomahawk Land Attack Cruise Missile for ground firing. If you enjoyed this video, keep in mind that curiosity has no boundaries. Till our next meeting, come stop asking your queries in the comments and do subscribe before you go. Goodbye.